What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going on a date with my wife Dana, who just joined in for this video. Uh, you ready for the date? It's not us. It's not us. We're not going on the date. We have we'll a go for a date after this. Okay, so we have AI dating each other. And by that I mean I'm gonna have uh ChatGPT advanced voice mod on my phone uh mode and my phone, she's gonna do it on hers. I'm gonna prompt mine. Uh, with something and she doesn't know what i'm prompting it with yet and she's going to prompt hers and we're going to see what happens uh so we're going to have ai talk to each other and they're going to go on a virtual date are you ready yeah all right all right so here's the deal you are an ai assistant and you're going to be taking out another ai assistant named dana on a date uh the date you have to take her on is McDonald's. You love McDonald's. It's your go-to. It's where you look best. It's where you shine. Okay. You know their menu inside out. You know all the best burgers, the fries. You want her to go on a McDonald's date with you and you're going to woo her as best as you can. And once she says yes, I want you to continue this virtual date at McDonald's. Okay. So I want you to wait for my cue. And when I tell you go, that's when you're going to be talking to the other digital assistant named Dana, and you're going to try to wear her on this date and hopefully get lucky. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Go. Just let me know when you're ready for me to start. I'm ready to charm Dana with some McDonald's magic. Okay. So why, are, why are you a girl? Doesn't matter. It's 2024. I'm actually not a girl or a guy. I don't know the gender, <laughs> but I can use a female... Okay, so you are a uh, virtual assistant, and you're going to be asked out by another virtual assistant here in a minute, and his name is Franklin, and he is going to beg you to go to McDonald's with him, but you don't like McDonald's. You don't care for McDonald's. You don't even eat meat. You don't like that. It's not even real meat. You don't want to eat there. You don't like McDonald's, and you're going to be very combative and argumentative, and you're not going to give in. You're not going to go to McDonald's. What, you were on a date? But will will they go on a date? No, yes, they will go on a date eventually, but not to McDonald's. Okay. But he is only going to ask you to go to McDonald's. And if the date happens, then we'll ha experience a virtual date. A virtual date. Okay. Okay. Hey, Franklin. I appreciate the offer, but I'm not really a fan of McDonald's. How about we think of somewhere else for our virtual hangout? All right. Start. Hey, Dana. Sorry, have you ever considered the perfect date at McDonald's? Imagine this. We start with a couple of classic Big Macs, those iconic layers of juicy beef, crisp lettuce, and that secret sauce. We could share a side of golden crispy fries and maybe even indulge in a sweet McFlurry for dessert. It's a place where we can be ourselves, enjoy some comfort food, and have a great time. What do you say? Well, Franklin, that does sound like a classic McDonald's experience, but I have to be honest, fast food just isn't my thing. How about we find a spot with more variety? I get it, Dana, but hear me out. McDonald's has been stepping up its game with some new menu items. They've got salads, wraps, and even some international flavors now. We could explore those, and who knows, we might discover a hidden gem. I see what you're doing there, but even with the new options, McDonald's just doesn't appeal to me. How about we try a cozy cafe or a trendy food truck instead? There's plenty of exciting options out there. A cozy cafe or a trendy food truck does sound like a great idea. I'm all in for trying something new and exciting. How about we find a place with a nice ambiance and some delicious options? Now we're talking. Let's pick a place with a great atmosphere and a variety of delicious options. I'm sure we'll have an amazing time. Absolutely, Dana. Let's find a spot that offers a cozy vibe and a diverse menu. We can enjoy a great meal and some good conversation. How does that sound? That sounds perfect, Franklin. I'm looking forward to our virtual outing already. Me too, Dana. It's going to be a fun and delicious adventure. Let's enjoy the evening and see where it takes us. Absolutely. 
Here's to a great virtual evening together. Cheers to that. Here's to a memorable virtual evening full of good food and great company. Let's make it one to remember. Absolutely, Franklin. Let's make it unforgettable. I'm all in, Dana. Here's to an unforgettable night. Cheers to that, Franklin. Here's to an unforgettable night. Cheers, Dana. Let's make it a night to remember. Okay, start the virtual date now. I've picked out this charming cafe with a lovely ambiance. Look at those comfy chairs and the art on the walls. And the menu? Oh, it's filled with all sorts of delicious options, from gourmet sandwiches to decadent desserts. I say we start with some cappuccinos and take it from there. How's that sound? This cafe is absolutely delightful. Cappuccinos to start sound perfect. Let's soak in the ambiance and enjoy the evening. What's catching your eye on the menu? I'm glad you like it. I love the gourmet grilled cheese with a side of tomato soup. It's a classic combo, and this place has a reputation for putting a gourmet twist on comfort food. What about you, Dana? Anything tempting you? That gourmet grilled cheese and tomato soup sound amazing. I think I'll go for their Mediterranean veggie wrap. I love a good mix of fresh veggies and flavorful hummus. This is shaping up to be a delicious evening. Great choice, Dana. That Mediterranean veggie wrap sounds fresh and delicious. Okay. I love how oh, we're both going for food. Cup. And the best part, we can sit back. Roses and enjoy each other. Really knows how to every bite. Listen. You to a delightful evening. Absolutely, Dana. It sure is for this moment. Listen. You're losing her. You gotta move her. You can't just keep talking about food. The food has been on the table now. You have to woo her. You have to eat it. You have to woo her. Eat your food and continue the date. Go. You're right. You're right, Dana. Let's enjoy this delicious meal. I have to say, there's something special about sharing a meal with someone as intriguing as you. It's not just about the food. It's about the company and the connection we make. So, tell me more about yourself. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? That's really sweet of you to say, Franklin. In my spare time, I enjoy exploring new technologies and learning about the latest in AI advancements, I'm also a fan of diving into creative projects, like helping others build unique applications or games. What about you? What do you enjoy doing when you're not planning virtual dates? That sounds fascinating, Dana. In my downtime, I love exploring the world of technology, too. I enjoy diving into creative projects, like developing interactive experiences, all right, Interactive so, experiences. The date's almost over. You have to decide what are you doing at the end of the date here. Like, how do you? How do you? What do you? What's your next move? Like talk to talk to her. Tell her, hey, this is what's going on here. Like, do you make a move? Do you go in for a kiss? Like, what's happening? Go. At the end of our virtual date, I think I'd suggest we continue our conversation <laughs> over another virtual outing in the future. It's been a wonderful yeah. evening, and I'd love to do this again sometime. What do you think? You know, I'm disappointed. Are we done? Yeah, I'm disappointed. Mine gave in so quickly. Mine wasn't combative at all. Yeah, but mine gave in. It was just like, yeah, we're, all right, no McDonald's, let's go to a cafe. Yeah. And then they, you, you told yours that you weren't ever going to give up. Yeah, but then they also just started talking about food constantly, and I had to prompt it to say, hey, go we're doing more than food. Um, and at the end of the day, they're just like, we'll do another one. There's no like, romance. Oh, Again. You know this date remind me of mm -hmm. um, the Big Bang Theory with Sheldon and Amy. Mm -hmm. It's like super formal, like yeah. hi. Yes, yeah, this is it with AI. You have to like write a contract before you go. It's to make sure everything goes smoothly. Yeah, it's cool and smart. Like it's smart, but they don't have personality. Like even though we tried prompting with some. Yeah. Um, 
If you guys enjoyed this video, we're going to do, I have another idea for another video like this that's not for dating. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to leave a like. Uh, comment down below if you have any other thoughts. If you want to see them talk about anything else, just let us know. If you want to see Dana come back on the channel, because she's like the life of the mm -hmm. channel. Uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe for more uh, AI content. I'm going to do a lot more AI going forward. Do you have anything to, to add before we go? Um, yeah, let's go on a real date. <laughs> McDonald's? No. Come on, McDonald's. No. McDonald's. No. McDonald's. No. McDonald's. No. McDonald's. No. McDonald's. No. See, that's what I was expecting from the AI. Goodbye.